In this video, we're going to cover some of the new enhancements that came out uh, for line charts, as well as the new 100% stacked area chart. We're going to go through each of the new changes and go through my thoughts to see how useful they are in their current state. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel, where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So there were a bunch of new features that seem to have been glossed over by the uh, April feature updates. So I thought I'd try to cover this in this video and test all of them using my own data to actually see what's changed and what's new. First of all, if you want to see and start using these features, you wanna make sure that you have uh, updated to the April 2024 version of the Power BI desktop. So let's start with this new transparency option for your lines, which you can now toggle with a slider bar. This means that you can adjust your lines to be fully opaque, fully transparent, or somewhere in between. You can also apply this in individual lines if you have multiple categories or across all of your series. So let's have a look and see how this is actually changed. So I'm gonna open up this report that I typically use. It's a subset of the Northwind dataset. And uh, here we have, uh, I've already set up the uh, data model here so we don't have to worry about it. Uh, and here we have a, a a line chart of sales across various months and uh, it's only one category of data that we have at the moment uh, so I'm gonna add a category name here as part of our uh, legend so it looks a little bit messy uh, so but we'll we'll work with this for now um, actually let's make it less messy I'm just gonna pick two categories so one and this one uh, just for preview's sake right now for our line chart. So if we go to the format section here, and uh, as you can see, we have the lines here. And under color, you should be able to see that you can adjust the transparency of these lines. So um, as you increase the transparency, you can make them completely invisible, or you can make them uh, slightly shaded like this. Uh, and at the moment is currently being applied to all of the lines, but uh, if we adjust that and let's say choose just one line here. So let's say we want to make the beverages slightly faded. And uh, this is how you can kind of get that effect. So this gives you a lot of possibilities and opportunities for visual storytelling. Um, one of the key things that I can imagine this being used for is if you're, for example, highlighting uh, across a bunch of other categories of lines to highlight one line and tell a story out of that. The only thing that I would have liked this feature to have is uh, the ability to control the transparency in the colors. Uh, conditionally. So like a lot of the formatting elements in Power BI, uh, you would have this FX icon next to them, which will let you control them in DAX. Uh, and this will let you dynamically choose or maybe adjust the color or transparency of these properties dynamically yourself. Now it's a sentiment that I can see uh, is shared across the community. So I'm pretty sure the Power BI team uh, will pick this up at some point and implement this in the future. But for now, if you're desperate for a solution that you want to use, there are a couple of options. Uh, and I did cover this already a few years ago, I believe. Uh, it's a bit hacky, but it exists and it currently works. So if you want to learn how you can dynamically uh, highlight certain lines um, across all of your different categories, uh, I will leave a link to my video somewhere here. So the next thing that you can add are shaded areas in your line charts. So it's this new option here on the right hand side. So here it's currently turned off by default. So if we turn it on, you will see that it gets uh, shading your line chart. So similar to an area chart. Now you can adjust uh, obviously the transparency of the area like you do or you would the transparency of your lines. Um, at the moment, it adjusts the match, uh, the, the, the color of your line, the area 
based on the line color. You can disable that and add the color yourself if you wanted to, um, but it's easier to keep that on and it's there by default. And also like the, uh, the line uh, option, you also have the option for you to change this either uh, individually or across all your series. So for example, let's say we want um, one of our lines beverages to be, let's say gray. And uh, for our shade area, we want to make sure that the shade area is only available for beverages, not for condiments like this. Oops we disable it from this series like this, so that the shaded area is only for the beverages. Now, if the shading is a little bit too dark for you, you can increase the transparency so that the, uh, the line that you want to highlight is a lot more prominent than the ones that you have at the, at the back, the, the shaded area. So again, it just provides you with more ways to tell a story. So for example, you want to compare two values against each other. You want your more prominent value at the front with a strong color and the one that you're comparing against at the back with a kind of darker or more uh, blended tone so that you can tell that story, but at the same time show that comparison in a chart. The next one are some new interpolation types uh, that is available. Uh, not necessarily new, but some new options for you to play around and work with. So I'm going to open up a new page here. I'm going to copy and paste this. And I'm going to remove my legends and just leave it like this. So if we go, I'm going to remove the shaded area as well. And let's go back to the lines here and the interpolation type here. Um, let's start with the smooth. Now, if you click the smooth by default, you will have the uh, monotone, which is like it's just smoothing by default. So it will just decide how smooth those uh, lines are. Um, but now you have the option to change this smooth type from monotone, which is um, the default option, to cardinal. Changing it to cardinal gives you this uh, new option, tension, which lets you control how smooth these, um, uh, these smooth curves are. So the higher the tension, the less curvy it is. So by default, it's 50%. So you can adjust this accordingly if you want to. So if you want to be a little bit more precise with your smooth curves, you want a higher tension. Um, or at the same time, if you want to focus more on how the curves work, um, you can decrease the tension here. So you just need to make sure you choose the right smooth type. So it just gives you that extra flexibility. Now let's move on to the other interpolation type, the step, which uh, instead of smoothing, it just gives you that um, uh, this step look in your line chart. So it uh, focuses more on the change uh the transition of your data over time now in this interpolation type step you have the a new option here step position which lets you control when the step actually happens so should it happen before uh during the center or after uh, those data points now if i select one or the other here you'll see that the data slightly changes and if you're confused on what's actually changing um, it's not really that easily seen if you're just looking at it like this. So what actually I found easier to read is if you enable the marker, you can see when the steps happen. So in center, you will see that the step uh, or, or this um, uh, where it changes from one level to another happens at the center of when the data point is. But if you change that step position, to before, as you can see that the step happens way before that um, uh, those uh, those points are. They are still in the same place in the chart, but it's just when the steps happen um, is what this uh, uh, this option controls. So before, center, and after. So this is how and how this kind of uh, visual changes. Lastly, I want to briefly cover the new 100% stacked area chart, 
which uh, should be an out of the box visual that you should be able to use as of this month. This visual in practice works pretty much exactly as the 100% stacked bar chart that currently exists. It still shows you the distribution of your data over time. Uh, obviously, the only difference is that the, the delivery method is a little bit different. So let's have a look at how that differs from uh, from the stacked 100% stacked bar chart. So I'm gonna just bring in category, sales, and month, and I'm gonna convert this in 100% stacked area chart. Okay, month needs to be in the y-axis, sales needs to be here. Okay, like this, and then month, sorry, category name needs to be in the legend, like this. All right, so this is the 100% stacked area chart. And uh, I'm gonna copy and paste this and put it side by side with the 100% column chart, which currently exists. So as you can see, um, what it does is it gives you over time how your categories uh, are, or legends are distributed across a period of time. So the stacked area chart benefits from a lot of the um, enhancements that the line chart got, like for example, the shaded areas, being able to control the transparency of these areas, um, either individually or per series, which is a great thing, cool thing to, to have. The only thing that I, uh, I'm not sure uh, I liked, um, but I think this is done on purpose, is uh, if you have your data here, for example, in the 100% stacked uh, column chart, if you hover over one element here, it gives you the proportion individually for that specific uh, series or for that specific legend. Uh, whereas, for example, if you hover or do the same thing in the stacked area, area chart, it will give you the proportion across all of your uh, legends or your different categories, which um, I mean, it should be easy enough for you to determine um, uh, which area you have hovered in. Um, but it just tells you the for the for that whole month, for example, um, which uh, I would have expected this to be only showing me uh, the proportion or the information on the actual area that I have highlighted here. So for example, if I have highlighted the beverages section here, I just wanna see the beverages uh, percentage and sales value. And that's really it for this video. Uh, if you want to learn more about these new line enhancements, uh, I'm gonna leave the uh, LinkedIn blog post about this uh, in the description box below. Thanks for watching as usual. Give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.